Next up, tomorrow's Telegraph, and it looks like Johnson's got some legal advice a little bit too late. Diane, tell us more. Well, this is all to do with the watering down of the potential inquiry. So the Telegraph have got this article, uh, Boris Johnson Partygate Inquiry Faces Being Watered Down in Early Days of Liz Truss Government. Ah! So everybody uh, is assuming that Liz Truss is going to get in, uh, which is interesting, I suppose. Um, I even heard you on your programme say, spoiler alert! <laughs> That's what it is. I think so. I think she's she's on the IKEA website now, ordering home furnishing. <laughs> she's there. She's got the wallpaper stripper. She goes, I can't. I'm not going to live with that stuff. Larry the cat's going. You're not going to live with me, love. Maybe, um, maybe she could get Extinction Rebellion to do the wallpaper because they are very good with adhesives, aren't they? <laughs> wallpaper is tricky. Wallpaper glue. That would be fun if they wallpapered themselves to something. Hey, ideas, guys. <laughs> so a um, hundred. Uh, £130,000 of taxpayers' money went to somebody called Lord Panic, <laughs> which is wondrous. We have, like, Lord Trust, Lord Justice, Lord Swift, Lord Panic. Are they the Avengers? It just sounds like it, it doesn't does it? It does sound like they're all just sat around this circular table plotting things. And essentially, they've taken this inquiry and they've turned it into, what can I say, a homeopathic inquiry. Mm. They're sort of watering it down until it's just got the essence of an inquiry once upon a time, and they're sort of changing uh, the, the questions and the motions um, so that Boris doesn't have to actually face the question of did you purposefully mislead Parliament, which is something that's very important. He's leaving office. He's paid the ultimate price. Do we need this nonsense? It's important because he does need to be held to account. Do you not think he should be held to account even though he's leaving? Do you think that, you know, just because uh, somebody leaves a job, should they not, but they stole a load of, like, stationery, should they not well, be held to account? Well, yeah, perhaps a bigger headache for some, perhaps in, in the Tory party, Nick Dixon, is if he's exonerated from this inquiry, then they'll be thinking, well, why did he go in the first place? Yes, well, it appears to be the goal that he's thinking about coming back, and it's all part of it, and I, it is... Amusing that he's called Lord Panic. We also had Chris Pincher. In future, all politicians and figures like this will be named after their essential qualities. But, and yeah. they must wear capes. Yeah, correct. Um, and, they um, need a, man, a manservant, don't they, with, with whom they have an ambiguous relationship. <laughs> and a poll that they slide down when they must attend. We must vote! <laughs> <laughs> the, the poll's a deal-breaker for me. Shall I give you the actual boring... Parts of the story. It's, it's, he's making a legal case for Boris that th there might be a chilling effect in future if you're not allowed to just say something that's a mistake in Parliament and that's that's thought of as contempt of Parliament. He's saying that's unfair. He says there should be a higher standard of proof than balance of probability. You shouldn't be able to use anonymous witnesses against Boris in case they hold a grudge secretly. And Boris should know the full case against him in advance and he should be allowed to, to have a lawyer and cross examine the opposition. Those are some of the things he's saying. But the whole thing seems to be about Boris has hinted he wants to come back and you know, this is all about allowing that chance for Boris. I wonder, because people are... Does anyone care about Partygate anymore, as you suggested? Probably not. They do care about the way Boris was ousted. Lots of people care about the way he was stabbed in the back. But this, this idea of Boris coming back, I mean, I'm, I'm, do you actually want that? I mean, does he deserve to come back? Would he do anything different? It would have to be, you know, dark Brandon, the Joe Biden me. It would have to be dark Boris, wouldn't it? He'd, come, he'd have to come back and really get stuff done. Yeah, that's right. The Spectator were writing this week that, 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 that he may do a Berlusconi and make a glorious return in a couple of years' time. The bottom line is that if Liz Truss does not perform well as Prime Minister and loses the next election, she will go and there will be another leadership election. If Boris Johnson stays in the Commons, he may throw his hat in the ring. Yeah, well, that's what he's hinting at, isn't he, this mm. week? Can he make the souffle rise twice? I'm not sure he rose <laughs> the first one.